In the race for the White House, a major development overnight. Top contender Pete Buttigieg dropping out after Tom Steyer also calls it quits. All in the wake of Joe Biden's landslide victory in South Carolina on Saturday, winning by nearly 30 points. The narrowing field could help the former vice president as we head into Super Tuesday. 15 contests, more than a third of the Democratic convention delegates are at stake. And Eva Pilgrim has the latest. Overnight, Pete Buttigieg dropping out of the race for president. I will no longer seek to be the 2020 Democratic nominee for president, but I will do everything in my power to ensure that we have a new Democratic president come January. Buttigieg's decision coming after his fourth place finish in South Carolina over the weekend. Our goal has always been to help unify Americans to defeat Donald Trump and to win the era for our values. The best way to keep faith with those goals and ideals is to step aside and help bring our party and our country together. Do you think him dropping out of the race makes your path forward on Super Tuesday a little bit easier? Well, he's, he was a real competitor, he's a real competitor, and I think it probably does. If I were president, I'd very much like to see him part of whatever I do. Joe Biden fresh off a commanding win in the Palmetto State, shaking up the race. The press and the pundits declared my candidacy dead. Now, thanks to the heart of the Democratic Party in South Carolina, I'm very much alive. The former vice president saying he is taking nothing for granted, now turning his attention to Super Tuesday, less than 24 hours away. Biden knows he is facing an uphill climb against delegate leader Bernie Sanders, who has spent more money and more time in the Super Tuesday delegate rich states like California. Which candidate can reach out and bring new people into the political process who can create the excitement and the energy for young people to come in. I think that's our campaign. Sanders arguing that old fashioned politics won't beat Donald Trump in November. You talking about Joe Biden? I could be. Yes, I am. And the wild card heading into tomorrow, billionaire Michael Bloomberg will be on the ballot for the first time. There is a lot on the line with so many delegates up for grabs. The result will tell us the path forward for these remaining candidates. George. Yes, they will, Eva. Thanks very much. Let's bring in our chief political analyst, Matthew Dowd, for more on this right now. So the biggest night of the primaries tomorrow night, Super Tuesday. And what we're trying to assess is the impact of Joe Biden's landslide win in South Carolina. We've already seen Pete Buttigieg and Tom Steyer drop out. Yeah, I think if you watch the first 10 minutes of the show this morning, I think the watchword is volatility and unpredictability in our economy, what's happening in the global crisis, the unpredictability of the White House. And we're in an unpredictable time in our politics right now. I think much of this benefits Joe Biden because he had a huge victory. We don't know how much is captured because we're not going to see any polling before tomorrow night. All the polls before now, I think, are kind of useless because they don't capture that. And I think Pete Buttigieg's base of support is much more aligned with Joe Biden's base of support, older voters who oppose Medicare for all. But we have no idea what's going to happen. And it comes up against Bernie Sanders, who raised a ton of money in February, $46.5 million, is the biggest organization across the country and is leading in polls in most of the Super Tuesday states. Yeah, he has the advantage in this. He has more delegates now. He has a greater degree of money. And he has, he has more leads in more states. But again, I think once we've moved this race much more to a two-person, two-and-a-half-person race, we don't fully know what Michael Bloomberg's effect is going to be ever since those sort of bad debate performances. His support has dropped. I don't think that's been completely captured in the states. One thing we can say for certain, the chances of the Democrats not having a nominee before the convention are going up. It's rising. Unless after Super Tuesday, a series of candidates, a bunch of candidates drop out and we're only left with two. But if that stays the same, yes, it's likely that we're going to go into a convention without a nominee. Matthew Dowd, thanks very much. We're going to have special coverage of Super Tuesday all night long. I'll be anchoring, joined by our political team starting at 8 Eastern. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.